Hello, Camus Special Selection fans. I'm Kevin Ripa, and this is My Sans 3 Minutes Max. Today, I want to talk a little bit about Apple technology. We haven't really talked a lot about that in the 3 Minutes Max series. Uh, something I think we need to change at least a little bit. And uh, I want to talk about the acquisition of Apple devices. Uh, there's a lot of uh, different techniques and things that have been advertised to various uh, degrees of success. And uh, unfortunately, with, with Apple devices, and when I say Apple devices, I'm talking about uh, computers, MacBook Pro, MacBook Air, these types of things, uh, not talking about the portable devices. Uh, it, it, there's, you know, some people say, well, geez, I tried it once and it worked, and I tried it again, and it doesn't work. The dividing line is something called the T2 security chip. And on an Apple device, uh, since 2018, I believe it is, uh, there was a new technology introduced called a T2 security chip. And this T2 security chip really was a game changer, uh, not only when it came to security of the device, but when it came to uh, forensic acquisition and analysis of devices. And we're going to go more in depth about the T2 security chips uh, uh, very soon. But I want to back up a little bit because there's still a number of computers on the market today that don't have that T2 security chip. And uh, we conduct a lot of testing here in the lab. And uh, what we've basically come up with is that if it does not have a T2 security chip, we can image it for free at the command line. That includes RAM if the machine is on, live imaging of the machine if it is on, as well as dead box, uh, usually in target disk mode, uh, or we can come at it with a boot disk, all of which we should be uh, talking about in future episodes, how to make an Apple boot disk and make it as forensically sound as we can. Uh, and if there's enough interest, I realize that not a lot of people do forensics on Apple products, and so there isn't as much interest in it as there is, uh, uh, obviously, with Windows forensics. But if I get enough feedback and there's some interest in acquisition of Apple devices, we will certainly maybe kick off the new year with a series talking about it. So non-T2 security chip, fairly straightforward and simple in terms of acquisition. And, and that goes from Catalina 10.15.7 and older. Uh, haven't tested Big Sur on a non-T2 chip computer yet, but that's in the coming days. In the next episode, we'll talk about what changes in acquisition when we come across a device with a T2 security chip. But in the meantime, and in between time, that's it. Another episode of 3 Minutes Max.